Welcome back. Yes, you've won the trifecta. Now, David, you're going to introduce us to some bad behaviour tonight. Well, some historical bad behaviour. In fact, uh, the behaviour or misbehaviour is duck shoving. Now, that's got nothing to do with ducks or any sorts of uh, actions that the RSPCA would be interested in. In fact, it's to do with cab drivers. Now, about 170 years ago or so, this colloquialism uh, emerged uh, where if a cab driver ignored the rank and went uh, soliciting fares, actively soliciting fares, not just uh, driving around the neighbourhood hoping to pick up a fare, but he was called a duck shover. And uh, the phrase and the word has come on to mean uh, any sort of rude behaviour or if you're evading your duty or conducting some sort of unscrupulous practice. Well, or is it, is it, does it actually apply to shoving into the queue or something like that? The opposite, in fact. If you think of uh, cabs on a rank, essentially like ducklings behind the mother duck, then what a duck shover would do was to push out of the rank and go off uh, further afield looking for uh, business. Now, in marbles, the duck shoving phrase still exists. Uh, that is, if marble still exists uh, in kids' schools, because to uh, duck shove is to uh, put, shoot your marble beyond the shooting line. In other words, again, this idea of sort of pushing beyond the line, pushing beyond ranks. And, Very uh, improper behaviour in marbles. That's, but uh, what I love about duck shoving in the dictionary, it also goes by the name of cribbing, lagging and fnudging. That's F-N-U-D-G-E, which is the only word that starts with an F-N. So it should be actually preserved and celebrated. That is a fantastic word. I think that's my favourite one of the lot. <laughs> Thank you for those, David. Our scores are absolutely level. Michael and Mike are on 10 each as we move into our next uh, letters game for tonight. And, Michael, this time, you to choose the letters. Uh, I'll start with a vowel, thanks, Lily. Thanks, Michael. E. Uh, and another vowel. O. And a third. E. And a fourth as well, please. O. Uh, a consonant, thanks, Lily. T. Uh, another consonant, please. P. Uh, and another. S. And a fourth also, thank you. D. And I'll finish with a consonant as well, please. And last letter, F. And your time starts now. <laughs> for you. Uh, I'll go with a six. And Mike? And I will as well. Let's hear yours then, Mike. Posted. And yours, Michael? Also posted. If you could uh, just verify that you got the same thing. Yeah. Double posting over here. They, these two really are like Romulus and Remus. You can't separate them. Posted is good. Uh, add an O and mix and there's stoop, just a possible seven. And bizarrely, there's also with a hyphen F stop, which is the focal length of a camera, and that's also known as an F number, like for nudge, but with a hyphen. So that's the only one that hasn't been duck shoved in the FN slot. But anyway, well played for six, and there is a seven. Very nice work. Well done to Michael and Mike. Six points each. So level pegging on 16 points each now as we begin our next letters game. And uh, Mike, you to choose. Thanks, Richard. Uh, a consonant, please, Lily. Thanks, Mike. R. Another consonant? D. Uh, one more. M. Thank you. A vowel? I. Uh, another vowel, please. A. Thank you. A consonant? S. Thank you. Another consonant? T. Uh, another vowel? I. And uh, a consonant. And last letter, N. Here's the clock.
what did you think that time, Mike? Uh, just five, thanks. Five for you, Michael? Uh, and a six for me. What was your five, Mike? Stare. And your six? Drains. Drains. Drains, well done, Michael. Uh, first time you've broken the, uh, the log jam. Drains is perfectly fine for six. And if you shake and stir these, uh, these letters, you get martinis. M-A-R-T-I-N-I-S, which is named after Martini and Rossi, the, uh, the vermouth makers. Well, thank you, David. And with that six to Michael, the deadlock has been broken. Mike is now on 16. Michael, 22. So let's move back to the numbers for a little while now. And uh, Michael, what would you like this time? Uh, I'll grab one large and five small. Thanks, Lily. Thanks, Michael. One large and five small. And our numbers are... Eight, five, one, three, seven, and the large number is 75, and the target tree to 677. Let's head there now. did you get Michael? Uh, I got to 672. Just five off the target and Mike? Um, I got to 678. Aha, uh -huh. you're just one away so uh, take us through your approach please. So um, I added eight and one to get nine. Eight plus one is nine. Multiplied it by 75 to get 675. Five to 75 is 675. That's right and added three. Add the three is 678. So, good work, Mike. Just one off the uh, target. How did you go, Lily, in your calculations? If Mike had added the five and took away the three, that would have given you the two to get up to 677. Very nice indeed. Uh, just that one critical difference, but uh, you took us there. Thank you for that, Lily. But seven points for Mike. That means, once again, the scores are incredibly close. Michael is on 22. Mike is just one point ahead on 23 as we go to our next break. And another word mix for you, Rad Haven. And this time the clue is often found around the house. See you after the break.